Hello friends, Music Man from His Man Cave. Well, today we're going to talk about something that's qu caused quite a stir the last decade in the plumbing world. It's this stuff called Shark Bites. I just have a cap here. You can get them in tees and elbows, um, but I have them all installed. Um, so uh, I'll just show you with the cap. I, I keep a, a cap on hand. Uh, it's really handy, and I'll explain that to you. So, what's all this controversy about the Shark Bite? And let's discuss it. Coming at you right now. And I love discussion on this. Well, uh, contracting plumbers hate this stuff right here in my hand. As much as teachers hate uh, classes offered digitally online. Like you can learn foreign languages and different things and not have to take a class at school. And uh, so, uh, what's all the stir about? What's all the stink about? Well, I'll show you what all the stink is about. First, this is this new stuff that's come out called PEX. And to install this stuff, um, if you want to run it to your, your existing copper or whatever, it's very simple. Basically, you put this thing on and you can measure that this is like 15th, 16th or something or less. I think 15th, 16th for the three quarter. For this, it's a little bit less. Just push this stuff on like this. And it is there. Ain't going nowhere. And then basically, uh, uh, to remove it, if you make a mistake, you take this little tool here, slide it on here, and you basically pull. Comes off that easy. And but those teeth, man, they bite in. And that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> And copper is even stronger, harder to even take off. Here's a, a, a some of my existing copper I had, and it's beautiful. I love copper. So symmetrical, so shiny. Sorry, had a moment there. Uh, just the plumber coming out in me. I do love copper. I think it's beautiful stuff. Um, I love it. I like it. And so these shark bites, basically, if you need to run copper to PEX or PVC, I can get a piece of CPVC too and do it. Lots of videos here on YouTube about this stuff. And once again, you push it on there. There's a video on here where they literally lift four, over 400 pounds, which would be mathematically more pressure than you can imagine. And those teeth bite in there and you're not... It, this is harder to take off, let me tell you. You have to really... Oh, you know, and so and you can see where those teeth bit in there. Uh, maybe you can. Uh, let's see if I get the right lighting. But man, when those teeth bite in right here, that that's not gonna go anywhere. It, in fact, the it, it digs in, and that's just unbelievable. So, uh, what is all the stink about these shark bites? First of all, they say they're expensive. Well, let's talk about that for a moment. I had a plumber friend of mine, uh, and this is a true story. I had a seat on the, my, when we all had our old bathtub in, and I could not get that seat out. A seat is what the washer screws, or, uh, the washer uh, squishes to. That's the easiest way to put it, uh, to keep it from leaking. And I, the washer went bad, and it slowly grooved the seat. And so I got the special tool, and I tried to get it out, and I could not get it out. So I called a plumber friend of mine. He was here, and he had that seat out in seconds i kid you not in 30 seconds he had that seat unscrewed and out of there and he was in my house for five minutes and then he turned around and said that'll be fifty dollars fifty dollars and he had been in my house for how long he'd been in my house for minutes i'm sorry but that's obscene that's absolutely obscene and so that's where's the big stink is coming about these shark bites um, is that that they are, are uh, plumbers can come in and say you know uh, I was here five minutes uh, just to come by your house he said he gave me a deal and uh, he said it's seventy five dollars to come by the house now some areas it's even more I've been told so sharp bites threaten that now this is the claim it has a O ring in here okay and that O ring is going to fail and it's going to leak. Well, it's made of, because it's made of rubber. A lot of things are made of that rubber. 
Uh, but this is made of a special rubber that's resistant to like chlorine and different things or things that det deteriorate it. But which, I, which I'm sure they all are. But there's a lot of things in your house that have rubber. Let's talk about them. This was connected to my hot water heater. I don't, can't get the light right. The washer in here was connected to my hot water heater for, get this brighter, as you can see, for uh, 15 years. And as you can see, I replaced it anyway, but the washers are in good condition. They have life left in them. Probably another 15 years. I'm just saying. The only reason I replaced them is because they had been there 15 years. And uh, I just thought it was intelligent uh, since I was putting it. it. This is where they're put to the ultimate test. Uh, because of where we live, the climate that we live in, we have to run our hot water heater hot in the winter. Hot. Um, otherwise, uh, the showers don't last very long with, uh, you know, three females in the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so um, I replaced it. Uh, even though it was, there was nothing really wrong with it. This is a fitting to the top of the hot water heater. And I put brand new ones on there. And I'm expecting them to last 15 years. Another thing is uh, this last, this didn't even fail. And they're still in good shape. This is the hose to my, uh, our washing machine we replaced. Okay, and we replaced it uh, a couple of years ago. And these are washers and they look like brand new. And they were under the water pressure of our house. And never leaked, never popped, nothing. Because if they do, it's really bad. Especially if it's the hot water side. Because it's just going to drain your hot water tank and fill your basement full of water and so forth. And so there's a couple of uh, examples of why I think that uh, them going on about the O-ring. And I have another O-ring. We don't have an installed dishwasher. When we moved into this house, uh, it had... Uh, it did not have a dishwasher, so what we do is we have one of those that works as a counter and you have to hook it up to the faucet. And the faucet in the bottom of the faucet is an O-ring. And the hottest water we can run to our hot water, you know, is, you know, and that O-ring has not failed. And at least now, I don't know how long we've had our dishwasher. I, I really don't know. I'd have to ask my wife. But it's lasted a long time. And I'm sure that O-ring in the, in the spout Going back, uh, and, and I, I'm sure it's not even, it's not, nowhere did it say on it that it was warranted against the pressure to run a dishwasher to the spout. But I, we haven't had any problem with it. Nothing. Not a leak, not a drip, nothing. However, I wouldn't advise hooking up your dishwasher and taking off for a vacation. You know, that would be pretty stupid. My advice with Shark Bites is this. Until I have further testing done myself, I would not put them inside a wall. And I'd make sure where you do install them, which is where I installed them, it's very accessible. There's my advice. Another thing is I have a, con uh, a plastic pipe running with just compression running for to my um, ice maker. It's plastic under high water pressure. Um, and I have a, has it ever leaked? No. So why are the plumbers freaking out about this? Yeah, do-it-yourselfers like me. Love it. By the way, if you connect this to copper, uh, just take a pair of needle nose pliers and just pull that straight out. Pull the plastic out. Otherwise, it will rattle against the copper and drive anyone in the basement nuts. I'm just telling you, it will. They rattle like crazy in there as the water passes by them. Uh, that fitting is only for pecs. And I have another video about pecs. If you have any questions about pecs, and ask me. Ask me about pecs. Now, the, uh, like I said, professional plumbers hate this stuff. Because any dweeb can do it. If you have a, you have a third grade education, you can do it. And, uh, and I have a friend that's installed a shark bite now. Uh, oh my goodness. How long has it been? For at least five years. And I ask him every now and then, how's that shark bite doing? Not a drip. Do I expect it to fail? No. I, I think that SharpBite's pretty confident. They give it a 25-year warranty. If I get 25 years out of this, that's sweet. A house is only a series of things waiting to fail. Uh, they do. Everything fails. Your refrigerator fails. Everything fails. Your plumbing will fail. Um, I'm sorry. 
no matter what plumbing you put in. Is copper forever? They, the plumbers say that. No, it's not. They create pinhole leaks and they fail. I've replaced it. I've worked with every kind of plumbing you can imagine. Except for that pla earlier plastic. I knew that was junk. I like CPVC. Um, I like copper. Copper's my favorite. But I love finishing it off with the PEX and connecting it into my copper with these shark bite things. Sweet. Cheap. Very inexpensive. Well, the best place to buy the shark bites, in my personal opinion, is online. If you're going to do a plumbing project, I'd buy them then. And then if you, then if, and if you have extra, um, uh, you know, I'd send them back. I'm just saying, send them back. Or if you need to buy some at the uh, hardware store, uh, take them back. That's what I did. And a $375 job turned into less than $300. Uh, because uh, I, when I took it back, I was surprised at how much money I got back on the ones that I didn't use. Crimp. Uh, and when you have to connect in the copper, I trust the sharp bites. Uh, evidence. Not one drip. Not one leak. Nothing. Okay? So anyway, there you go. My opinion on sharp bites. Uh, uh, contracting plumbers hate them. Do it yourselfers like me love them? You make the call. You know, see if you get the same results I did. Not a drip, nothing. Music man from his man cave. Best invention since sliced bread, as far as I can tell. Pretty neat stuff. I keep a cap just in case uh, there was some, some issue with even the, the copper and I could just cap it off and go get a part while everybody had water. Take care. Music Man out.